Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of The Willing Participant. My name's Justin, and today we are going to be using a mini hibachi grill. Alright guys, let's see how this thing looks and what we have to do in order to get it working. We have this miniature grill. I think my utensils might be a little bit oversized for this little grill. I, sh I guess that one is a no. Alright, so according to this it says it's a mini cast iron hibachi grill. It includes a durable pre-seasoned cast iron hibachi grill with a wooden base. Great for cooking, appetizers, and desserts. Guests will have a memorable experience cooking their own food in style. <laughs> Small enough to easily transport right to the table designed to use with chafing fuel. Not included. Well, I guess it's a good thing that um, I read that ahead of time because I may have bought a can of chafing, chafing fuel or two. So we're good there. I'm going to put this back here for now and we are going to continue to open this bad boy up. So let's see what happens here. This is obviously the grilling grate, I'm assuming. Um, it doesn't say anything else on the box. Oh, I'm lying. To maintain your high quality Chef Master cast iron properly, do not wash in the dishwasher. Okay, point taken. Anything else in the box? No, she's empty. <laughs> All right, so I got this grill off of Amazon. It was like $22. What is that? You want me to put fire in that and it's all wiggly. Look. <laughs> Okay, just like before, we don't keep garbage, so bye. All right. Oh, this thing comes out. Oh, wait, there's a screw in there. All right, so that's why it's loose. So you put the chafing fuel, that can of stuff in here, like a scoop of it, and you light it, and then you put this on top of it. Um, so that is how that is going to work, I guess. So we'll see. This is our main event here. So hopefully it does us good. I also bought these skewers. Um, they're metal skewers, which after I bought them, I thought you're going to put metal skewers on a hot barbecue. And then what? You're going to burn your fingers off. These are a lot smaller than I thought they were, but they go with the grill. So that's a good thing. <laughs> Um, oh my gosh. Oh, they're individually wrapped. <sighs> always with the, always with the individually wrapped. We'll put this back here in case I want to put them back in that zippy bag. We have skewers. <laughs> I didn't think they'd be individually wrapped, but they are. All right. Ooh. All right. That's a decent skewer. All right. Why don't we put the skewers on this so I can wash them here in a little bit. They're so sharp. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Oh, all right. What can we speed this up, please? I'm not going to open the other side because we don't need them right now. So I'm going to throw stuff on the floor. All right, so right now we've got 
eight skewers and they're sharp so like i said that's good we'll wash those in a second all right we've got our main event we've got our, some skewers here's what's happening so i hit up the clearance section at walmart and kroger and i've got sizzling hot wings i've got salmon i've got scallops i've got yellowfin tuna and i have steak i also got these sad limes and lemons from the clearance department in the produce aisle we are going to attempt to hibachi check this out hibachi that's not going to work <laughs> oh no it won't sit oh look oh so it just has to be off center maybe it'll still work my idea was like if you were camping or you know with what's going on right now you might need uh, some armageddon supplies so i was going to try to cook some tomatoes on here and some eggs i'm gonna try that we're gonna try to grill a hibachi i should say a banana we're gonna try to hibachi a marshmallow a marshmallow we are not hibachi a marshmallow we are going to attempt to make s'mores which i think will work because guess what after i bought it it shows a roasted marshmallow on the front of the package so there you go all right so now i also got oh my gosh i'm knocking everything over this optimal home 14 inch bamboo serving tray oh let's use one of our skewers there we go see multi-purpose um five section tray Ooh, with bonus picks i wasn't expecting that they're bamboo that's kind of cool all right, so we're going to need to wash this. All right, do you guys see the drill? There's a drill, obviously. Um, when I bought this, I thought, oh, I'll put this in the middle of here, right? That looks cool. And then we're going to cut up all of our seafood and various wares and put them in the different spots. But then I thought, no, 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 no. This thing is ghetto, which I didn't know until I just opened it. But I'm glad that I had already thought about this because my plan is to take this off of here. See, there's a screw in there. And maybe I can, it's so loose, I could probably just take it off. I can. So I'm gonna take this off of here, right? Maybe. Oh, it's easier to do it from the inside. There we go, all right. And we're gonna save that. And we're going to save this screw and we'll save this too just in case i change my mind at some other point so we'll put it over here with the box here's my idea i'm going to, all right i'm gonna to have to do this away from the table but what i was thinking was drill a hole through this thing and attach this to this right then you have this cool like platter and then if you you, you want to wash it you don't have to worry about it because this comes off and this comes out and you <laughs> and you could just wash this with it attached to it it's not a big deal right so oh i'm gonna have to drill through that eh, sorry branding so here's my plan i should probably get a pen that would be a good idea no that's all right we're professionals here we can <laughs> We can figure out what the middle looks like, right? That looks kind of like the middle. So I feel like what I'm going to do is drill a hole down through here. Oh, God. I have a glass cutting board under here. <laughs> okay. All right. So now we have a hole. We officially... Uh, we have a hole. All right, so what did I do with, oh, here it is. So this can go through here, right? Oh no, my drill bit wasn't big enough. I'll have to force it. It might, no, actually that might be good. <laughs> if I had pliers, this would go much faster. Actually, do you think I should make the hole a little bit bigger? I think I should make the hole a little bit bigger because this will take all night. All right, um, through the bottom, maybe? I don't know. I'm just going around and around and around with this drill bit, hoping it'll widen that hole out a little bit. I need to stop putting these tools on this table with all this food. Okay, I think it'll go through easier now. No, it still hates me. All right, let's do it one more time from this side, just so we know. 
Oh, All right, now let's see. Oh my gosh. If this works, I'm gonna be so happy. After uh, this whole virus situation's over, I'm gonna have everybody over and I'm gonna force them to cook their, their own appetizers. But it's a cool way to do it though, right? Yeah. All right, now it's coming through. All right, now we're now we're cooking with sterno. <laughs> all right, we're almost all the way threaded in here. I think this is going to work super easy, and it was totally. Oh no, I just thought of something. See how this lips here? It's not going to sit flat anymore, right? It's going to have. Well, actually, it's not. It's not bad at all. Cool. I mean. Some patent it. Somebody, <laughs> somebody call uh, QVC or the Home Shopping Network and tell them that I've created the best home appetizer hibachi. This is like, I. this is too cool. This is working too well. This is, <laughs> that is awesome. Okay. All right. I'm not mad at you. Let me tighten you up a little bit here. All right. Cool. All right, so now we need to wash these, and I gotta wash these, and I gotta wash this, and then we'll be back. <laughs> All right, guys, we're back, and I'm just drying this off. All right. I'll just stick that in my trusty apron I have here, my grilling apron. We're professionals here. Look, I got my brush. I got my meat thermometer. We're ready to go. All right, what do you want to do first? I think we should start off with putting our sterno fuel in here. So let's open up that bad boy. Oh, I, so it's not like, you, I mean, you can just buy one, but if you just buy one, you might as well buy six or 12 or whatever, because the price is so much cheaper to do it that way. So we have a bunch of these, so hopefully this is fun and I want to keep doing it because I certainly have plenty of fuel to do it with. So we're popping that, oh, look, it looks like um, hair gel. <laughs> it does, look, it looks like hair gel. Um, I don't know the rules about touching this, so I'm not going to. I'm going to um, check this out. I got this scoopy thing, and it'll measure a perfect amount out, and then I'll right in there. Now, that's obviously going to have to be washed off immediately because... We cannot leave that tainted with whatever this is. Some type of alcohol, probably. Methanol, gel, yeah. So I'm gonna put that back here, put that there. I'll wash that as soon as we're done. All right, we've got this guy, he's washed, he's ready to go. Where's my trusty grill lighter? All right, you ready guys? All right, let's see. Ooh, that didn't take nothing but a second. Okay, cool. Get these guys out of the way. All right. That's pretty awesome. <laughs> Look, guys, can you see that in the camera? It's uh, it's definitely flaming. And I'm going to put our grill grate on top of it. And now we're ready to go. <laughs> all right. So first of all, I think we will start with something easy. It's a hibachi. Actually, let me move this to the back for right now. It's a hibachi and it's made to cook like meat and stuff at the table. I'm gonna move this forward. Oh gosh. Okay. See, I got all the sweets here for when we go to try to hibachi some s'mores, which, like I said, is definitely gonna work because it's on the box, which I did not know until um, it got here. Okay, we are going to put this guy out here and. That will be for the vacuum sealer later. All right, we can get rid of this guy. We're done with him, as long as that stays lit, which hopefully it does. I do remember reading that you should put some oil on the grate. I kind of wanted to let it get hot, but I guess I should just kind of let it. There you go, make sure it's nice and nonstick. I'm gonna let that. That is too cool, right? 
<laughs> All right, so we're gonna let that chill. Let it get nice, the opposite actually. We're gonna let it get nice and hot. I've got a couple of knives here, surprisingly from the Dollar Tree. <laughs> so if they suck, that's why. Um, we are gonna cut this beautiful stick into really thin pieces because I don't know if you realize how tiny that grill is, but it, it's small. So we don't wanna overpower the grill. And I'm only gonna cut a few pieces because we don't need to get crazy with it. We're gonna put that with its vacuum seal friends for later. And we have, I'll see now that just looks sad. I can't do that. I can't do that. <laughs> Change of, of mind here. Look, I can't look. I have to turn that towards you. That It's just sad. I have to put a few more pieces on there so it doesn't look so boring. All right. All right. Beautifully fanned out steak. See, that's much better. All right, now like I said, with these vacuum seal buddies, and everybody goes in the pan. We're, we're not, we don't judge. So that little guy can go in there too. All right, guys. It's important that you, you know, we washed our knife, we washed our hands, we're wiping our board off. Put that over there so we can wash it later. And then we're gonna get into some salmon. All right. This salmon that I bought today was originally $10.15. Oh no. Oh, how funny. The edge of my... How does that get back on? The edge of my cutting board fell off. Okay, so that's back on. That's never happened before. Um, so we're going to cut this open. It was originally $10.15. I got it for 6 bucks. I always check out the clearance section of Walmart, and I coupon a lot. Oh, I'm so happy to find out that the skin has been removed for me. That makes my day. I don't like the skin. I know. I know. People love it. It's like the best thing ever. And people rave about how tasty the crispy skin of the fish is. But it's not for me. I'm not that person. <laughs> and I can't. So with this one, I was thinking we could cube it and put it on a skewer. Right? Cut it in half, cut it in half. We'll make our lives easier. Cut them all in half. All right, now, skewers. I got fish fingers. I'll be back. <laughs> all right. It sounds to me like our grill is getting excited, which is good. We want it to be excited because it's got a, a long road to tow here with all this stuff that we're about to try to cook on it and these skewers even though they're really small seem like a good choice actually because I think they're going to fit on there real good look oh how cool is that we'll make a few more of these would we'll, like we'll skewer a few of them at a time here Now listen, we're not animals. We have to uh, season all of this stuff that we're putting on here because, oh, <laughs> she's getting angry. <laughs> um, because we're not just doing this just to do it. I'm going to eat this. We, it we should taste good, right? Oh, and by the way, if things get crazy, <laughs> we're not messing around. <laughs> We've got our fire extinguisher. Let me put it up here just in case. Alright, we got our fire extinguisher. We're in good shape. Alright. Let me put that guy on there. And, oh, let's put him on there. Call that salmon. Alright. So next, I've got yellowfin tuna. Originally seven bucks. I got it for $3.87. That's a good deal. I mean, I think it's a good deal. I don't frequently purchase a bunch of tuna fresh like this anyway and so it sounded like a good deal to me now we're seafood on seafood here so I'm not going to wipe the board but just always be aware of what you are cooking and what you are putting on the board 
this uh, tuna is beautiful, actually. Look at that beautiful pink inside. That thing is, my fire alarm is going to go off. How much do you want to bet? It's going to be like, <laughs> get your life together because something is happening in here. I can smell it. <laughs> now with this tuna, I, I'm not going to, I don't think I'm going to season that. I think I'm just going to let it do its thing. And hopefully it turns out good because it looks really nice. I mean, this is kind of awesome how pink and fleshy it is. That's cool. All right. So tuna goes on. So, you don't know what's going to happen. This could be great for Armageddon or this could be great for just camping. All right. Tuna. You could remember this video and realize you should have bought one of these. <laughs> All right, we have tuna number two. Want to make one more? I better make two more. There's that one, one more here. I swear that thing's going to set my fire alarm off. But that gel is indoor safe, so I'm not worried about that part. All right, what do we have? Oh, and then last but not least, we have scallops. Oh my gosh, my fingers are so wet that it won't open. All right, I'll be right back. <laughs> All right, guys, we're back, and we're skewering a couple of these beautiful scallops on here. They, they are really nice. I really hope this works, because if not, it's going to be a waste of beautiful seafood, and that will upset me. All right. I'm only putting two of these on, because they're so big. I don't want to, like, overwhelm the skewer, and then I'm not cooking through, so two of those and then I'm gonna do one more that thing's just cooking away I've never used one of these before so that's pretty freaking cool it's just doing its thing over there <laughs> it's probably so hot right now because nothing's been on it all right now let me go put this with the rest of the stuff here and wipe this down. All right, guys, we're back. And right now I've got our plates for when we're ready to plate up our food. Oh no. <laughs> Did it go? I think it went off. Hold on, I have a silicone that here that I can use to pick it up. Yeah, it's out of that stuff. Oh my gosh. This will probably burn through there, right? So what, I need more stuff. Okay, I'm glad I didn't wash this and put it away yet. This is crazy. All right, okay, hold on. <laughs> Could you imagine? Don't, why don't they tell you how, how much stuff to put in there? All right, I'm gonna put another big scoop. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> that scared the crap out of me. <laughs> I'm putting two scoops in this time. Oh my gosh. Because it's flammable, it scares me. All right, don't judge. <laughs> and then thank, thank you, the Wish app. Oh my God, oh my God, for this silicone. Oh, wait, I have to light it first. But thank you to the Wish app for that. <laughs> focus, Justin, focus. There's fire. <laughs> Okay, anyway, Wish App is where I got this silicone thing, and I keep it on my stove because I put my spoons on it, but it's also safe to do stuff like this with, so that's why I do it. I mean, it's not the best thing to hold on with, but... <laughs> All right, get up on it. There you go. All right. I'm going to keep this here just in case. Oh, and our last item... Another surprise clearance item <laughs> is our chicken wings. These were also on clearance, and I thought, will it hibachi? <laughs> so I'm going to put those around here. All right. Let 
Look at that. Look at that. If you came to my party, listen, we're doing catering, okay? If, <laughs> if you come to my party, you get this beautiful choice of salmon and white fish, white fin tuna. White fin. It's yellow fin tuna. <laughs> yellow fin tuna and chicken wings and salmon and scallops and steak. I mean, who doesn't want that? I need all of these little picks. I was going to say, I need something to pick up that steak with. <clears throat> so we'll put a couple of these out. Boom. All right. So I told you guys that we were going to season, and we are, because I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to eat this, and um, there's no reason to not season your food. There is a spoonful of salt, which is what I'm putting on the steak. And I'm going to put a little bit on the scallops and the tuna and a little bit on the salmon. My best friend, dollar store pepper grinder. I'm going to put it on the steak and I'm going to put it on the salmon, but I'm not going to put it on the tuna and I'm, yeah, actually I'm going to put it on the scallops just a little bit. All right, that thing just burned my... <laughs> that thing just burned. Singed. <sighs> Holy. Burned my arm off. <laughs> okay, so... I got this... Fish... Baja Fish Taco. Street Taco from McCormick. And I thought... Normally, I don't cheat like this, but it sounded good. So I'm going to put it in this little container and shake it up because, you know, it sits around in that store all the time and it needs shook up. All right. So I am going to sprinkle this on the salmon and a little bit on the tuna and on the scallops. So I am literally going to pick it up with my fingers and sprinkle it like this because I don't want it to get... I'm just trying to singe my arm hairs off again. No big deal. <laughs> Don't worry. Don't worry. I'm a professional. This is a professional kitchen. <laughs> but I know how to do this right. <sighs> Ta-da! <laughs> it's magic. All right. Hopefully it doesn't burn the house down, but in case it tries, we have this. All right. So we've got our little pokers to put into our meat. That's exciting. I've got these chopsticks to play with on the thing. I think it's time to get rid of this cutting board and start to hibachi. All right. Oh gosh. It's it's definitely hot. I definitely seasoned everything it looks like. <laughs> Should I put more oil on? I I don't know. I'm going to. I hope it Oh my gosh, it can't, it caught on fire. Look at that. It caught on fire. <gasps> stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Okay. You don't want stuff to stick. What should we do first? 